Well, good morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. We are out here this morning. We got Mama and Summer, and we got a hundred live shrimp this morning. It is right about 7:30 in the morning on a Saturday. To my surprise, there was hardly nobody at the boat ramp. I'm sure that's going to change as the day goes on. But we're going to head out today. Not sure what we're going to do. We're going to go check the inlet. Let's we'll see if we can get offshore. Maybe do some shark fishing. Maybe. Or just do some inshore stuff. But we do need to catch some shark bait first. So let's we'll see what we can do, y'all. We're going to get at it. Wish us luck. We're at our first spot. Just gonna hook my shrimp through the little mouth part here. Fish this little bank, this little structure. See if we can't catch some some mangoes. Boy, there. But what you got, Summer? Summer got a nice fish. Summer got a little mango. Oh, see if he's 10 inches. I don't think he is. But first fish, mango snapper already. There we go. Oh, I got a mango. Got to mango. Summer got a mango. Summer's got tied up a mommy. Um, yeah, well, we got the mangoes biting, just not real big mangoes. Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna get to keep the jewelry. And leaving a hook in a fish like that, guys, isn't gonna hurt the fish. It's a lot better to do that than to try in there and dig it out and damage the fish and the fish die. So the hook will rust out. It's not a big deal. Just let it go like that instead of trying to hurt the fish getting the hook out. All right, we are at spot number two. All we were catching at the first spot was just a bunch of small mangoes. Nothing of any size. So we'll try here for a little bit. See if we can come up with something here. All right, I got something decent right here. It might be, if it's a mango, it might be a good mango. Oh, that's a good mango. Oh, yeah, that's a fatty. That's a fat man right there. All righty. That is a good mango. Nice. Yes. That's a good 11, 12 incher. Oh, 12 inches. That's what I'm talking about. Get five of those again, I'll be happy. All right, I got one here. Oh, he ain't gonna be legal though. He ain't gonna be legal. All right, I think we're gonna move from this spot. Go try another spot. We need to get one legal one out of here. We're just catching this. Still a whole bunch of small ones. All right, y'all. We're at our third spot of the day. See if we can come up with something here really windy today and very low tide there's hardly no water in the river and the tide's still going out all right here we go there's something here's something here's something here's something what we got here come on be something good be something good either shark bait or a mango oh it's a kitty cat that's not what we wanted Kitty cat is not what we wanted. Summer's got a fish. What you got, Summer? What you got? What you got, Summer? What is that? Oh, another catfish. Oh my God. No, go that way. All right, y'all. We're in our last spot of the day. We have been everywhere today. We have fished probably seven or eight different spots. And really no luck, just that one keeper mangrove. So we're gonna try here. I fished here the other day with, <coughs> with Babe. <coughs> Excuse me, with Babe. And we caught some nice mangoes. So we'll see what we can do today. We'll see. First cast, I'm hooked up. Probably a small mango. Yep, a smaller mango. 
right? But I know there's some bigger ones in here. May have to re-anchor though because of the wind. We got one. All right, I got something good. I think this might be a good mango right here. Oh yeah, it's looking like a keeper. That is looking like a keeper right there. All right. Yeah, looks like we got a storm barreling down on us. Doggone it. Uh, ten and a half. All right. Second keeper mango for the day. All right, guys. We got some mangoes here. We got the two that we caught from today. And we got five that we caught yesterday. So we're going to clean up some mangoes. Pretty easy fish to clean. Just make an incision right here behind the gill. I go in and I turn my knife sideways. I go along that rib cage. Press down and I just go all the way through. Comes off just like that. To the other side, all the way through, put a little bit of pressure, and there you go. And then you got yourself some crab bait. We got two nice mango snapper fillets right here, and we're just gonna skin them just like this. Take them pin bones out, just like this. And there you go, y'all. There is a beautiful mango snapper filet. And I do put my filets in fresh water. I know a lot of people say, don't do that. You're not supposed to do that. I've been doing it that way for years, guys. And I tell you, I, I don't know what a lot of people are talking about. I've never seen no difference in taste or anything with my fish doing it that way. I eat them fresh doing it that way. I put them in the freezer doing that. I even freeze my fish in fresh water. And I have never had any issues putting saltwater fish in fresh water. I don't know where these YouTubers come up with that mess, but I see it all the time on YouTube with some of these channels. But I'm telling you, it don't hurt the fish at all putting them in fresh water, but I guess it is a personal preference. Right, guys i got all my mangoes cleaned some really nice fillets here really nice fillets and what we're going to do with these we're going to make ceviche out of these but this is some of the best fried fish you can get it's great blackened it's awesome baked put it on the grill with some butter and lemon really cannot mess up a mango snapper even these small ones are absolutely delicious even the large ones offshore absolutely delicious so all right guys i'm gonna get these all ready and we're gonna see y'all in the kitchen all right, y'all, we're in the kitchen. Got all my mango cut up. We got it in my lemon and lime juice. And my wife was kind enough to cut all this stuff up for us. So we're gonna put in some, some regular old yellow onion. She's also got some orange and red bell pepper. She also cut up some green bell pepper, some yellow bell pepper, and some cucumber. Put that in there. already looks awesome we're gonna put in some cilantro and some jalapenos she has some jalapenos in there as well and then we're also going to put in some mandarin oranges and some mango all right so now we just mix all this up and there you go that looks awesome I apologize for the noise in the background. We got my dishwasher running. I didn't want to wait till the dishwasher was done. To go ahead and put this together because we need to get this in the refrigerator. We need to get it cooled, let it sit in there for an hour to two hours, and it's ready to eat. All right, y'all. Well, I'm not going to wait for it to go in the refrigerator and wait two hours. I'm going to go ahead and get some with a cracker. Well, how we like to do it is after it sits in the refrigerator for a couple hours, Amber will cut up some pieces of bread, little nice little pieces of bread, some French bread. 
So put them in the oven with some olive oil for a little while, get them crisp up, and that's what we eat our ceviche on. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Give me some on a cracker. Go like that. Hmm. Put that on a cracker, dude. I couldn't resist. Had to do it. <laughs> I love watching that guy. If you guys don't know who that is, a stale cracker. That guy is awesome. And that's how we like to do our ceviche. We do it with fresh mango snapper, lane snapper, porgies. We've done it with sheep's head, flounder, any nice white flaky fish. Ceviche is awesome to do with. We've also done it with red snapper. Red snapper is really good. It's a very good way to eat fish. And the uh, lemon juice and lime juice actually cook the fish for you. It's a chemical cook. So it's not exactly raw. Some people say, oh, it's raw fish. It's not really raw. It is chemically cooked. And it's just excellent. It's very healthy. It's very good for you. And it's absolutely delicious. Well, thank you guys very much for hanging out with us today. We're going on a little fishing trip. We didn't catch a whole lot. We did catch a little bit. We had a lot of fun. That's all it's all about. That's what it's all about, guys. Just getting out with the family, having a good time, catching some fish, and just spending time together. So get out there, guys, with your family. Go fishing. Have a good time. And so we see you all again. Tight on, J-Rockers. See you all next time.